Good evening. We're back with another card for you. This time, the next adventure pack, The Dead Marshes. So, let's take a look. The hero is not a very good quality picture, but it is Boromir. 1 3 2, 11 threat, 5 health, action. Raise your threat by 1 to ready Boromir. This has actually been eroded, so it should say raise your threat by 1 to ready Boromir. Limit once per phase. Action, discard Boromir to deal two damage to each enemy engaged with a single player, which you're never going to use. I like this hero a lot. He fills a similar role as Gimli. So here's a little deck building philosophy for solo play. Obviously in solo it's just you, and you've got a couple of essential roles you need to fill with your heroes. Number one, you need a strong quester. Strong meaning hopefully pulling the work of two cards. That's Eowyn with her four questing value. She pulls the, does the job of two, of two characters doing two each. At least, she can even do five. Then you need a strong damager. That can be Gimli. He can deal the damage of two characters because he can get up to five, six attack at base without a citadel plate. It can also be Boromir because he can swing for three twice. Now that doesn't do the work of two characters when you're facing a, an enemy with high shields, but against smaller foes he's very good. His questing value is weak, but that's not why he's here. He's here for his combat value and so he's, he's a good defender and he's very good against enemies with low shields. Against Big time enemies with high shields, you're going to want Gimli with Citadel play for the combat role. But smaller enemies like, say, the ones in the whole next cycle or expansion, Cause of Doom, Boromir is very good against them. So I like this hero a lot. He's worth getting this adventure pack for, in my opinion. Next card, Dunedain Watcher. 3 cost, 1-1-1, one, 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 2 health. Discard Dunedain Watcher from play to cancel the shadow effects of a card just triggered. So her response is worth 1, because that's how much it costs to cancel with hasty strikes. So she's actually at 2 value, two cost, 1-1-1 one, one, one with 2 health. That's a Wandering Took. So it's a Wandering Took plus a hasty strike in one card from Leadership. It's okay. I don't usually play hasty stroke unless the shadow effects are really nasty. And I don't usually play Wandering Took either anymore because there's better cards. I played it in the core set. I don't play it anymore. So that's two cards I don't play because they're a little bit underpowered. Except in a situation where you've got nasty shadow effects. So that's the only spot I'd play this card. If you had really bad shadow effects, you needed more than just hasty stroke and you're running leadership or some way to play leadership. And you could find a spot for this, but at three cost, you have to save the resources for it too. So if the only reason you're running it is for the shadow canceling effect, it's not as good as hasty stroke. It's a little underwhelming. It's not terrible, but it's a little underwhelming. Dunedain Catch. Attached hero gains range. Terrible in solo. Doesn't do anything at this point. Don't play it in solo. In multiplayer, is it good? It could be. It could be. Let's say you stuck this on Gimli. And when he's buffed up. And now he's dealing 5-6 damage from range. Yeah, that could be... Uh, that could be some power right there for taking down bosses, which sometimes require a collective effort for multiple players. So there's some builds where, I mean, it's not going to be useful every quest, and it requires some setup, so you're going to need it to be in one of the slow burn quests. So it's got a use. It's not a good guard. It's a niche guard. It's not good in solo. Vassal of the Windlord, a very interesting card. 0301. Can't have attachments, or can't have restricted attachments. It's ranged. And after an attack in which it 
attacked, resolves, discard it. So it's a one-off, three attack, could also be a meat shield. I like this a little bit. I probably, well, I might mess around with it. I might mess around with it. I like this a little bit. One tac one cost means you can use it when you don't have anything else to play from tactics. Yeah, this is I like this a little bit. Got a lot of uses. Especially the ranged part. Can help you deal with some enemies that can only be attacked by ranged. Yeah. I, I'd, tr I'd throw it in a deck and see what happens. It's not an essential card. But uh, worth, worth a look. Song of Mocking. Attached to a hero, exhaust Song of Mocking to choose another hero. Until the end of the phase, attached hero takes all damage assigned to the chosen hero. So this is a card, I've talked about cards like this before from previous expansions. It's a card for when you make a mistake. I wouldn't play it because I don't plan on making mistakes. But you've portion, you're playing a multiplayer game with kids or, you know, people who aren't used to playing games like this. And somebody engages the wrong enemy, something happens that you didn't plan, and you need to use this to soak up the damage from the mistake. That's why you would use this. I wouldn't put it in a deck with good players. At least at this point, I can't see a use for it. It's possible I'm just not thinking about it enough, but this isn't a good card. This is a card for when you're playing with your kids or something and they don't know what they're doing. I've seen a few cards like that before. I don't object to their existence. They're just not for players with a higher skill ceiling, I don't think. Elf Helm. Four cost, one, two, three. Three health. While he is ready, he gains. After your threat is raised, as a result of questing unsuccessfully, or by an encounter, or quest card effect, that's poorly worded, it should say, or by an encounter card effect, or a quest card effect, reduce your threat by one. Okay. Yeah, I like him a little bit. Uh, he's not an essential card. He's a good card. Two shields is nice. Two attack is nice. You can have him hang around until after the encounter and quest cards have gone through. And then you can have him do combat. You're not going to have him quest. Yeah, he's uh, worth a look. He's not great, but he's worth a look. We do not sleep. Five cost until the end of the phase. Rohan characters do not exhaust to commit to quests. So there's that five cost leadership card that readies everyone up. That's just straight up better. This is a worse version of that. I wouldn't play it. I'd play the uh, leadership card if I wanted something like this. And I'd throw in a Song of Kings rather than play the worst version here. So at four, it needs to cost four or three probably to be worth a look. Probably three would be reasonable. Three would be good. Four would be a debate, maybe. Five is no. Sylvan Tracker. Three costs, one, 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 three health. After a Sylvan character readies, heal one damage from that character. I think there's better ways to heal. Sylvan could be relevant in the future. One, one, one is bad stats, so I guess you're using this for the healing effect. But it only works on Sylvan characters, and I don't think there's that many, so not right now, we'll say. This could be relevant later, but not right now. Fast Hitch. Attached to a Hobbit character, exhaust Fast Hitch to ready attached character. So it's a one cost, unexpected courage from the lore sphere. This is great. This is a great card. If you're playing a Hobbit hero or a bunch of Hobbit characters, throw this in there for sure. If you are using lore cards, this is excellent. Love it. Really, really good card. Unexpected Courage is a really, really, really good card. One of the best in the game. 
This is also really, really good. If you're running Frodo, use it. If you're running Bilbo, eh. Bilbo, eh, I'd still use it, you know. Those are the two Hobbit heroes right now. Yeah, this is good. This and Boromir are the reasons to get this AP. With uh with a glance at Vassal of the Windlord and Elf Helm, you'll get you'll you'll have fun trying them out. I don't know if they got staying power or not. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Vassal in particular, that has possibilities. But uh Fast Hitch and Boromir are the standouts here. Song of Battle. Attached to a hero. Attached hero gains a tactics icon. Right now there are uh, no essential tactics cards I can think of that you'd want to run. If you weren't running a tactics hero, maybe faint in some situations. Like uh, against the Witch King. But even then I'd just run a tactics hero. I don't think this is going to see a lot of play. So Fast Hitch and Boromir with a look at Vassal and Elf Helm. Possibly Dunedain Watcher, but not real likely. Overall, it's a pretty strong AP. I like it. Worth a buy. I'd rank it second, maybe third. Maybe tied with the Frodo one. Behind the Song of Kings one in terms of how essential they are in this cycle. So, thanks for watching.